twinkle, twinkle, broccoli. So today is gonna to be an eventful day. My parents are on their way. They are gonna come help me finish the roof for the chicken coop and also get my garden prepared for the cold temps that are coming back tonight. We're expecting a low of 29 and I'm gonna try a new trick to protect my seedlings from the cold. Here's what we're looking for. These ones aren't getting hot. These ones are not gonna work. That's better, you can feel the heat on this one. You want the old light bulbs, not the LED ones. The LED ones don't put off any heat. Before we start preparing for the freeze, we're gonna finish the chicken roof. This has been on my to-do list for a while and I've been slowly working on it, but I can get so much more done when I have the help from my parents here. We got the roof done and it's looking really good. We used the same method as when I did the greenhouse roof. It's just a different color plastic. This is still the Sun Tough um, panels. So I'm going to link the video describing how we made the greenhouse roof. We just followed basic same instructions as the greenhouse roof. But I think the ladies are gonna be really happy with this. There was a leak in the old roof and no matter what I did, I could not get it figured out where the leak was coming from. So this should keep them completely dry and it will also keep their run dry. So now I just need to do some cleanup work out here and I'm gonna give them some fresh straw for the night so that they will have um, some fresh dry straw to bed down in. And my chicks over here, I'm gonna get them set up as well. So I put fresh straw in here for these guys and the heat plate that I have can either be used as a brooder or a heater. So I just have it on its side in here. I have it already plugged in. So all I need to do is plug it into the outlet and it will be ready to go tonight and I'll close them up and they should stay toasty warm. I'm going to put comforters over the ends of the chicken tractor to kind of help keep them from getting a really cold draft, insulate them a little bit through the night. Um, and I'll just keep that there for the next three nights. I'll just pull it up during the day and then put it back down to cover at night. So now I just need to get the rest of the bushes and the trees and the plants covered up and ready for the night. They're gonna stay covered for the next three days until this freeze is over. It's just too much to uncover them every day and then cover them back up at night. So they're just gonna stay covered and they should be fine. It might actually be better for them to have some shade. Instead of dealing with the shock of the cold and then having bright sunlight on them, it might be better for them just to have some shade to kind of recuperate from that shock. And so I'm just gonna leave them covered. I almost feel like I'm on some kind of weird comedy show where the weather is just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and you have to uncover because it's too hot and then you have to cover because it's too cold. It's just so bizarre. Every time I look at the weather report, it's getting worse. Now they're saying the low is gonna be 27 and we're gonna have freezes tonight, tomorrow, and the next night. So we're gonna try something new to keep our plants warm. Keeping all of my jugs and covers organized has been really handy. So it's easy to pull them out when it's time to cover up for a freeze and put them back away when it's time to take them off. So I first covered up everything with either milk jugs or empty flower pots that I had or buckets. Then we put lights in between these pots and then covered them up with blankets. So it's gonna help hold that heat in and protect the plants from the freeze. Most of them are Christmas lights for the tree or for covering bushes outside, and some of them are the globe lights. Key here is that you want them to be putting off a little bit of heat at least. The echinacea is coming back up. That's really exciting. All these 
these pretty irises and they're probably just gonna get killed by the breeze. You know what? I'm actually gonna cut these and bring them inside so we can enjoy them. Ellie is a great helper with watering the plants. That is one of the things that she is really good at doing in the garden. I decided not to pull all these plants inside tonight. It's looking like it's gonna be 29 degrees for one hour. So we're just gonna water these really good. Last time we had a freeze, they did fine. I will pull those three little basils out and put them back inside. Uh, but everything else out here is cold hardy. We have, that's a tray of broccolis. These are all cauliflowers. There's purple cabbage and fennel and some other broccoli in there. And then there's asparagus and some onions back there. And we have some lettuces on that side. So I'm gonna leave all this stuff in here tonight. Should be fine. If I need to pull it out, I will. If I need to put a heater in here, I might do that. But I think it's gonna be fine in here. You are such a good helper, Ellie. You're doing such a good job with those little seedlings. It is actually pretty hot in the greenhouse right now. It's high 50s outside and sunny, and the greenhouse is pretty warm, and that's even with the door open and with the vent open up there. So this greenhouse heats up really well during the day. So everything is all set for tonight, and the animals are all set for tonight, and I, um, all I have to do is plug in the extension cords and everything is turned on and ready to go. So hopefully this is our last big freeze. Our last frost date is only like three weeks away. That's it. <laughs> I, we might get some late, late frost this year. You never know. This weather has been crazy. So thanks for hanging out. It's been fun uh, getting to share fixing up the chicken coop. I still have some more um, upgrades I'd like to make to the chicken coop. Just takes time. And uh, I'm about to start another batch of chicks, so that's very exciting too. So I will see it next time and I will update you on how everything does through the frost. I'll see you next time.